Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio, Daily Devotion for Tuesday, the 9th of February, 2021. The short word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. The series title for this week's short word for today is The Wisdom of Frugality, Part 3 of 7, written by Jefferson Otombara Ingi. The short word for today's quotation for this week is, God has given me a treasure. The King James Version of the Holy Bible is where all scriptural quotations are taken from unless otherwise stated. The short word for today's Bible verse for this week is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 21, verse 20. Here is the reading of the Bible verse for the week. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. But a foolish man spended it up. End of the Bible reading. The most significant endeavor you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Unpleasant things will happen because life is not fair. It does not matter if you are born again or filled to the brim with anointing. The hard truth is that you are never immune from unforeseen circumstances. The problem you have in life is not the fact there are multiple problems and challenges you will encounter, but how you handle these issues. Your attitude will determine your altitude. I have decided to make the best of the worst situation, no matter what. I look for at least a positive in the adverse event. If there is no positive, which is unusual, then my default positive is that the situation did not kill me. I am alive and I am living to fight another day. I have the opportunity to learn lessons and gain some experience. I'm not afraid to fail because I understood experience as a demanding teacher who gave me the tests before the classes. I will fail the test and learn the lessons afterwards. Tough times never last, but tough people do. The coronavirus pandemic came with hardship, sorrow, grief, pain, and so much sadness. You don't have to pretend like everything is normal because it isn't. We are living in an unprecedented era in our generation. Even people that we are confident that they have prepared for a raining day have their savings dried up because the pandemic has lasted more than anticipated. It is now about survival. The rain is an earthquake, a tornado, a volcano, and a massive storm they never saved for. Frugal living gives you the advantage to survive. Frugal living implies being conscious of your spending and focusing on a few financial priorities. There is no clear path to frugal living. It is a general lifestyle that encourages you to give up what you don't care about to have more for what you genuinely would like. Occasionally, it means devoting extra time to save money, but it can also imply spending money to buy more time. Your priorities will, in the end, determine your approach. This is the end of part 3 of the Sure World Audio Devotion series titled, The Wisdom of Frugality. You are ready to declare God's word for your life today. It is a part of the Sure Word Capsule by Jefferson Otombara Ingbi. Repeat every word that I read and be blessed. Read after me. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am my superhero. I am my superhero. I refuse to give up because I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. I have not tried all possible ways. I am brave, fearless, bold, and strong. 
I am brave, fearless, bold, and strong. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to anyone. I will not compare myself to anyone. I am a loving person. I am a loving person. I am a person of integrity with a right attitude and specific goals. I am a person of integrity with a right attitude and specific goals. I am created with divine intention. I am created with divine intention. I feed my spirit and I train my body. I feed my spirit and I train my body. My mind is clear. I am focused. My mind is clear. I am focused. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. Today, I choose to feel happiness. Today, I choose to feel happiness. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I deserve the best and now I accept the best. I deserve the best and now I accept the best. I am a doer and not a talker. I am a doer and not a talker. I will take action and get things accomplished. I will take action and get things accomplished. I am motivated to finish my tax. I am motivated to finish my tax. I have the willpower to make progress in life. I have the willpower to make progress in life. I am a proactive person. I am a proactive person. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. Today is a new day and I am delighted because today is a new day and I am delighted because I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. Amen. I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. Amen. You have reached the end of the declaration of God's creative power, the sure word capsule. If you like our audio devotion, subscribe, follow, like, and share. Speak about it and treat it. The subscription links to our various social media channels are in the description of this audio and video recording. Thank you. God bless you.